How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Dymo Label Writer 400 no longer produced Dymo with a Macintosh computer. I'm running Mac OS 10.14.6 Mojave 2019 15 inch MacBook Pro. I'm gonna have to use a cable converter but I want to make sure I can get this printer working, especially with the new 2x7 Pirate Chip rollout. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the whole setup, let me know in the comment section and let's get into the tutorial. This is what you're gonna have to do before we get into the software. Grab your labels. These are the 2x7s, also known as the Dymo 99019, and it's in a roll of 150. We're gonna have to put these on the printer open this up. They have a little arrow there you can follow, but you want to make sure that the punches are on the left side of the little roll holder. Push this on all the way to the final click. This has to be all the way to the left. I'm going to load it in there. Going to need to plug our printer in. So I did find a power supply. This is 24 volts, 1.75 amps. If you saw my unboxing video, I didn't have a power supply, but I did managed to dig one up and that's what it looks like. We're gonna plug this bad boy in and then I'm going to load the labels like that. It took it to the front. If you press the feed button, should feed one label exactly. Basically from punch to punch is how the Dymo recognizes it with a little sensor in there. So I think that is good. And you're also going to need your USB cable, just a standard USB-A cable. Plug that into the back, just like that. And if you have a newer Mac with USB-C, you're going to need a USB-A to USB-C type converter. If you don't have that, you can plug it straight in USB. Okay, the printer is not plugged in yet. Do not plug it in. We're going to open up Google Chrome, or you can open up your favorite browser, and we're gonna navigate to dymo.com. Here is Dymo's website. I'm gonna download the Label Writer 450. What you wanna download is Dymo Label Software 8.7.4, and you wanna install the software before connecting your printer to the computer. That's what we're doing. Even though this says Label Writer 450, it's going to work with the 400. I will put a link directly to this in the description so you don't even have to navigate and find what you need just for ease of use. We're gonna download this, 65.9 megabytes, two minutes left, so bear with me. Took a couple minutes to download. You're gonna to wanna to navigate to your downloads folder or double click on the file if it's in your browser. Open up the Dymo label package, double click on that. Should open up this. The package will run a program. Continue, 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 agree. I'm gonna hit customize. I don't really want the web service. And then I guess if you're uninstalling it, you would click that and it would and uninstall it if you ever wanted to uninstall it. Cause it, the software can kind of get annoying sometimes. I don't really want the web service. So we're gonna hit install and then you're gonna put your password in or do the fingerprint. We don't really need that for the, my application. Software add-ins let you print from Microsoft Word or Excel documents. So if you're interested in that, you can install that, but we're not gonna do that. We're just trying to print two by seven label. And let this run. To complete the installation, connect and turn your printer on now. Okay, so we're gonna plug it in. Printer is Connected, we're plugging the printer into the wall. Make sure your printer's plugged in, USB is plugged in, blue light is on. You're gonna hit continue, close, and then you can move it to the trash. And I thought the software would open automatically, but it didn't. Go to the finder, type in Dymo, and then the Dymo label will pop up. Hit enter, register later. All right, so I guess it, it recognized it or installed it did whatever it needs to do because it looks like the printer is right here. I'm not really going to show how, I don't use this software, I'm not going to print 10 like I do, but it looks like it's got a bunch of different labels and you can design and generate labels. You can have an address book if you want to do that. It's got a print button right there. On eBay, you'll have to get to the screen where you're purchasing shipping and then down here, you're gonna hit change. It's probably at eight and a half 
by 11, you're gonna change that to two by seven, or if you had a four by six printer, you would change it to four by six. You can open a preview of a two by seven, and I'm gonna hit print. You're going to want to make sure that it's paper size 99019, Dymo Labeler Writer 400, hit print. And for some reason, the eBay sample label does not print out right. It prints out like in inverted mode, so ignore that. Whenever you actually do a real label, it'll print out correctly. And I have one on Pirate Ship I'm going to show you right now. Let's go to Pirate Ship, print a two by seven. If you're gonna be printing through Pirate Ship, you need to go to a chat window, ask them to activate two by seven, then you're gonna have to go into settings, general settings, and then you're gonna have to change your settings to two by seven, hit save, and then the next label you generate will be a two by seven, nine nine zero one nine label. Go to the little print icon here, hit print. Make sure it looks good. If not, go to print system dialog, 99019 presets last use settings because then it will save it for the next time hit print and that label looks as it should looks beautiful 300 dpi two by seven the lesser known format the format that dumpster marcus knows is cool he's been doing it for like five years that is how you do it this is just one application for the dymo 400 you can use it for other things. I just wanted to show you how to install it. And then if you want to use it for two by seven shipping, you can do that. You can also use it for labeling your binders, labeling stuff around the house, using that Dymo software, address labels. You're just gonna have to get the correct labels to match the application. Another really popular use for the Dymo 400 would be for Amazon SKUs, for the product SKUs when you're sending them into Amazon FBA. And just like that, the printer is working. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the setup, let me know about them in the comments section. I have a link to the two x seven labels in the description, as well as the cable converter that you might need for your USB-C. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know any problems or questions in the comments section. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.